Hello and welcome to the channel, Hemlocks and Loons. I am out in uh, Sylvania Wilderness again. This time I have Walter with me. Hi everybody. We are currently in Crooked Lake and we are headed over to High Lake and we're going to go explore around High Lake today. It's a warm and muggy September day and uh, you should notice in the surrounding trees that uh, fall is starting to creep in. Some of the maples and aspens uh, and birch are starting to change color. We've got um, one portage to do today so we're going to portage from Crooked into High Lake and then we're just going to spend the day uh, exploring High Lake. Might check out some of the islands. Uh, may I believe one of the campsites is open, um, not reserved for tonight so we may stop there and check it out, maybe give you a little tour of that. Well, welcome to High Lake. There's two campsites on this lake, Portage into Keir Lake, and then we're gonna probably check out the islands. Are we gonna check out it by going around it or on it? We're gonna go around it. I don't know if we'll get on it. It's awfully small. So, if you're uh, in High Lake and you're looking to um, go to Keir Lake, the portages on the map are wrong. So you need to go around the corner kind of into this little bay and just past this little island we were just looking at and uh, come to this spot here. That's the portage right there. Whoa, what is that? Pine cone. Is there a squirrel up there? Yep. Another one fell. I don't think he's happy we're here. Oh, to throw down again. There, see? He just dropped another one. <laughs> that was pretty cool, huh? Watching a squirrel drop five or four pine cones. This is late secessional bog. And you know that because it's got all these um, trees growing up in it. Yeah. It looks like there's some tamarack and some are the trees in the water? Spruce and maybe some fir. No, there's also white pine in there. Are they in the water? No, the bog is like a mat, like a floating uh, mat of, of growing material. But but they're pretty much above the water because there's water under them. Yeah. Wait, why are those white dots moving? They, they're actually on top of the water. Like water ski, the water skier. Like the water skier bug thingy. Yeah. There's no way anybody's gonna catch one of those. No, no way anybody's gonna catch them, huh? Yeah, they're so fat. Yeah, that one is an island. I mean, that one's too small to have a campsite on it, but we could. But we could check out that one in that one. Hey, Dad, I see a loon. Where? Over there. Oh, you're right. I was hoping it was going to get shallower as we got closer. It was pretty deep back there. It is getting shallower. It is, you are correct. We got off on the big island on uh, High Lake. We're just here, we're gonna explore it a little bit and take a snack and before getting back out on the water. So 
So are you having fun so far? Yeah, I am. Yeah? You want a snack? Mm-hmm. What squirrel eats pine cones? All squirrels eat pine cones, I think. Oh. They eat the seeds. Probably why that squirrel was drafting them so he had, didn't have to go down and carry them all down. This is raccoon campsite and uh, and Walter sees a squirrel and uh, it's pretty small it's up on this little itty bitty ridge out in the lake it's kind of cool that you got the lake on either side but there isn't a whole lot of room here for tents maybe back further in the woods but I'm not really seeing it, it looks like that's just the trail to the uh, latrine. I should have gone down that trail. The site is actually further back in the wood. This fire pit confused me. I confirmed later with a Forest Service employee that this was not the campsite. Okay. You ready to get going, Dad? Yeah, we're going back to Crooked Lake. We're gonna get off of um, Crooked Lake. High Lake and go to Crooked Lake. Yeah. Okay, I'll get my paddle. I'll get the. Put them up there somewhere and come back there. So we made it back into Crooked Lake. I, uh, I didn't show any of the portage for a couple of reasons. One, um, you can watch my uh, Crooked Lake loop video and, uh, and I'll put a card up here. Come on. There it is. Um, you can click on that and watch that and you can see this portage in that video um, but uh, I forgot my yoke so it may I had to carry the canoe uh, just sideways on my shoulder which is the one nice thing about having a nice like Kevlar canoe is uh, you don't have to worry about it it was easy enough to do it, it just wasn't easy to carry everything all at once so
red color, but they normally look green because of the chlorophyll that the trees make. But, 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 but there's different color chlorophyll that the tree doesn't have. No. In them. Want to see something cool? What? This garbage can over here. See the garbage can? No. Why not? That green thing? Show me it. Whoa, well, that is a garbage can. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next one. Yeah. Cheese. You don't have to cheese.